It's time to check that email. <laughs> Hi, Neil and Banky. I'm a 40 year old white man. Throughout my life, hey. I've seen blacks. Don't call them blacks. Say yeah, black folks, rough. black people, as blacks. trendsetters in fashion. In the 90s, it was baggy jeans, long white tees, flat brim hats, and Nike Air Maxes or Timberland boots. Corny white dudes would wear short, tight pants known as floods and long athletic socks. Uh, are you sure you just weren't hanging out with a baseball team? Yes. Our shirts were unmemorable. We wore unmemorable shirts. We easily traded our white uniforms to jump on the black trends. Now approaching 2020, I'm noticing that black guys are now wearing floods and long athletic socks. <laughs> what is this long athletic Dude, socks? Thing? Okay. Designers are now profiting from our lack of white style without paying homage to it. Is this reverse cultural appropriation? Shut up. What is it? What, how should they pay homage to it? <laughs> Seriously. That, They're buying it from white designers, yeah, I'm like, sure. Yeah, like it's not... Uh, you need to pay homage to the white man. Also, Give us our statue. Like, what kind of homage are you looking for? This reminds me of a Santino bit where he said, like, his dad calls him. He's like, you know, I just really, or somebody, some older gentleman calls him. And he's like, I just really like watching black people have fun. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, dad. Yeah. Like, don't say it out loud. But that's basically the situation. And it's kind of like, black people, like, they kind of pull off, I don't know, jovial fun and trends and weird clothing. Like I was like, black people are having so much more fun than white people. Yeah. And that's, the, I mean, that's great revenge. Is it the best revenge? No. no In fact, it. is it revenge at all? No. But no. it's, if it's any consolation in general, and this is a, you know, blanket statement. That's a new Blank segment. Blank Blank statement. Yeah, please. Um, somebody also wrote that there should be a song for when you try to read and which would be great. And if, if you make it, you can make it long and make it like tense, like the um, who wants to be a millionaire song <laughs> when they were it's like so phone a friend. Um, oh. The, yeah, I mean, I, they, they, the whole Amit, they don't have to pay homage. There's no, there's no reverse racism. There's no, there's racism, but most of the time it's like, there's, I've been, I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the receiving end of racism sometimes from black people. It's fine. I, again, I'm not, you're not going to hear me complain about it very loudly. I notice it and I go, that's interesting. And it speaks to the thing of like, everyone hates a lynch mob until they're in one. Everybody right. hates an oppressor until they get the chance to be one. Right. These were not white instincts. These are human instincts. Um, Another guy said that like, and there was another letter that we didn't put on here, but he kind of asked the same thing. The, what, black people are saturated in white culture. So like, do they need to break into white culture? Are they No, like they don't. Rock one time we were talking, he goes, no one knows. He goes, me and Oprah are the leading experts on white people. <laughs> he's like no one knows more about white people than right. me and Oprah uh, I mean he was kidding and whatever but like that's his point is well made which is like as a black person you have to be an expert on it's the enemy it's like the the oppressor the enemy the prevailing culture you're in you're saturated in it so there is no like all um, it's like we, we don't yeah. force fed yes like, yes, it's force fed. So you can't be mad when they're faux gua, right? <laughs> you're force fed white culture. So like every once in a while, if you're like, I'll oh, fucking rock this. Fuck it. Um, so there's no such thing. Stop it with the reverse racism. And where's my where's my white privilege? It's everywhere. It's you're soaking in it. This is how do you feel? Tell us how do you feel? Neil? This is how do you feel? Tell us just how you feel, Neil. Ay. I said, Welcome to how Neil feel. You know the deal. Gotta learn just how Neil Brennan feels. He keeps it real with his co-host.